So we've talked about the start stance and the first step. Now let's get running and talk about the first 10 yards. So in the first 10 yards, the steps will have similar mechanics as the first step, except your foot and body angle will naturally gradually get higher with each step. So some things to keep in mind is to not have too high a foot clearance, right? Your toes should come no higher than your opposite shin. Again, and we're talking between the start and 10 yard line. And then one other thing is to not artificially pop up. Let your body angle naturally rise. A lot of times what happens is guys get to a certain point, and then they just stand straight up. Usually it's like, the fifth or sixth step, they just stand straight up. Let the body naturally rise, all right? And then uh, now we can start getting into step count. So for five yards, you want to try to get that in about three and a half to four steps. And for 10 yards, you want to get that in about six and a half to seven steps. And these step counts are based off like uh, years and years of data analysis and video analysis of the NFL Combine. And even I've done some video analysis myself, and time and time again, the first five yards is done in about three and a half to four steps, and the first 10 yards is done in about six and a half to seven. So a common mistake in a start is cycling the legs as opposed to driving the legs. Cycling is okay, but not in the first 10 yards. Cycling is used later in the sprint. So if we look on the picture to the left, you'll see how the toe is going right through the mid shin height, all right? And the shin angle is parallel to the ground. And on the right, you see how the toe is above the knee and the shin angle is downward. The shin is angled downward because we're bringing the heel too close to the butt. Again, we don't want to cycle, we want to drive. 